everybody. I thought we would talk about another science experiment today. This one's not on your list, but um, I am wanting to share this with you. One of my favorite things to do when I was a little girl was to go with my daddy and we would go down to the creek and catch crawdads. Now, crawdads are known by a bunch of different names. Some people call them crawdads, crayfish. Um, sometimes people call them creek lobster. If you go to Louisiana, they actually um, boil those up and you can eat them. Um, Louisiana is where a lot of people get crayfish, but you can eat them anywhere. And today I thought I'd show you, my daughter and I went last night with a friend of hers and her mama, and we went and caught crawfish. Now this container, I have full of creek water, and I am going to show you all that's in there. I'm going to get one out and show you. And like I said, a crawfish is a crustacean, which means it has an exoskeleton. Whoop. And I'm going to show you what one looks like. There we go. This is a crawdad or a crayfish, or a creek lobster. Some people call them mud bugs. Oh, and he fell out. If you can see on the bottom, he's got all of these little legs, and these are pinchers. Um, if you ever decide to go crayfish hunting, um, please make sure an adult goes with you. A great way to find those is in a creek with shallow water, but please make sure an adult goes with you. And that is a crayfish. You can also, like I said, cook crayfish. Like I said, they are a, like a creek lobster. You do have to cook them. They have a mud vein that runs down the middle of them that you have to remove before you can cook them, but you do have to boil them in order to cook them. Um, but that is what a crawfish cray did. Mud bug is called. I'm also posting an article along with this video about what a crawfish is, and you can learn a little bit more about them. They're really cool to go and hunt. Um, a, a good time to go is either early in the morning or in about later later in the evening um, when it's cooler but not super hot, and then you can find those in shallow areas. Again, make sure an adult goes with you to do that. Um, to catch them, what I did is I took a strainer and then I took my big my, um, coffee container and basically just scooped them up in there and got those in there. So we have probably about 30 or 40 um, crayfish that are in there and it, we just had a good time and it's something fun that you can do. Again, if you do decide to go look for crayfish, make sure that an adult goes with you. So let me show you again real quick what a crayfish looks like. And they are in all different sizes. For instance, here's here's a little one. You can see he's just fitting on fitting on my spoon pretty good. Let me see if I can get a bigger one to come out here. There we go. There's a bigger fella. And as you can see, they've got a tail back here, and they've got their pinchers up front. And, oh, here's a big, big old daddy. Let's see. Ooh. He's a big fella. So, crayfish, crawdad, mud bug, um, that's what they call them here in North America. My daddy always used to call them creek lobsters. So um, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. And tomorrow we are going to do, you're going to have a choice of several virtual field trips that you can do tomorrow. And you can do one of them, you can do two of them, you can do three of them. It'll be your choice. And so tomorrow is virtual field trip day. You can take a field trip from the comfort of your own home. Have a good, great day, guys. Bye.